Hello, everybody. Welcome to The Walking Dead, the final season, part 11. So, how many walkers do you think James will help us get? Mm hmm. Fifteen? A hundred? A thousand? Clem, I don't... Oh, shit. Ow. Gunshot wound. It feels like someone pinched me from inside. Here, let's rest a second. I'm your host, the one only dig. Alright, now I remember. Last time we were going to recruit James to get some walkers, but I don't think he's going to be on board for that. <clears throat> Clem, I, I keep thinking. When Willie said all that stuff about Tin before, I got so mad. Mm -hmm. He was being mean, and Tin wasn't even there to defend himself. I wanted to hurt him. I know I shouldn't, but I just can't stop thinking about it. I want to just punch his head. Stay focused. Sometimes staying focused on what I'm doing helps me forget when I'm angry. Just uh, think about saving our friends or... Yeah, I know. I'm trying. Right now it's just different. I can't make my brain switch to thinking about that. Like, I think... I think I'm mad at 10 too. Why are you mad at 10? Running out of cover when Lily attacked the school was really stupid. But he just doesn't know stuff like we do. And then Willie started yelling at him instead of helping him learn. Why don't the other kids know all the stuff we know? They just don't. When there's a plan, you have to follow it. And when you yell at someone, it just makes them not listen. You know, they've been through different things than we have. Yes. There's probably a lot we can learn from them, too. Probably. Like drawing and playing the piano? Exactly. Exactly. We can show them how to survive, and they can teach us to be normal. It's weird that people are so different. That's what makes us unique. <laughs> it is Erickson's boarding school for troubled youth. Wah wah. Troubled youth? Trouble like bad? So they did bad things? Why? <sighs> okay, um, sometimes they do them because bad things happen to them. Some cases. I knew a doctor once, back when you were just a baby. He called it trauma. You have some too, you know. The thing where people can't walk up behind you. Right. I don't like my trauma. I want to get it off of me. We could work on it. How do I get rid of it? I don't even like the way oh, the you word find help. sounds. It's really, really hard to do by yourself. A lot of people can't without some help. Like from a doctor? Sure, but those are rare these days. True. Or, or like the school, right? It was supposed to help with people's trauma. Yeah. Yeah, it was. And now they help each other. I still like them. I know, it's okay to like them. I like Tin the most, I think. Even if he does dumb things. Actually, I think he's my first real friend. That's nice. Oh yeah? I thought oh. I was your first real <laughs> friend. Well, yeah, but you don't count. You're old. Old? I am not. <laughs> Fine. He's my second first real friend. Hey, first is the worst, second is the best, am I right? What's with the creepy music? I don't like it. A bear? <laughs> of course it's a walker. Why would there be a bear in this forest? Knifey knifey. What's the plan here? How do we even know we're gonna be able to find James though? That's my question. <clears throat> that looks like the campsite we were at, but James isn't here. I don't here. see James. Just monsters. Right. Uh, behind us. <clears throat> James? You're hurt. Oh, jeez, what happened to him? Did the raiders do this? It looked like they had people from your school. Oh. Why are you here? Those people you saw, we're going to save them. But to do that, we need your help moving some walkers. He's not going to be on board with that. I could maybe help, but my mask is still in the camp. 
inside my bag. Ah, shit. I can't pass through a herd without it. I could see that. Okay, then let's go get it. Uh, please, I just... I just ask that you don't kill them. The walkers. If you distract them, I can sneak over and find my mask. Distract all of them? Please. I'll... I'll try. See, how are we going to convince him to send walkers to their death? Usually when he beats the walker stuff, I keep request. Um... This is not going to be easy. Stun. I said stun, damn it. Well, I'm dead. What could I have done different there? It didn't give me the option. I want to satisfy Jim's request, or he's not going to help us. Okay, let's try again. <laughs> That's why I love continuations. Stun. Stun. Right now. What did I do wrong over here? Stun. 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 What? Okay, I found a glitch game. Jesus. <laughs> that was stupid. I walked right through and then it just killed me. Maybe I wasn't supposed to attack that one just yet? I have no idea. I want to satisfy James' request, or he's not going to help us, I just know. Okay, let's stun this one, not stun the other two. James, hurry up. Um, James, any day now. Shit. See, I don't think I can press Y at that point, because then I would just knife them in the face. Okay, there has to be a way to do this, otherwise it wouldn't tell me to stun them, you know? Okay, try again. First you'll succeed, try, try again. I mean, yeah. James, you better hurry your ass up. Oh, come on! I didn't want to do that. I don't know how long I can keep this up. Did you find your mask? I can't find it. The horses must have... There! Oh, shit. We have to run. Hey! Over here! No, there are too many of them. The cart. If we push it, the noise will draw them away. I didn't want to kill that other one. I don't think I could go back now, though. <laughs> um, B. I hope it doesn't affect my status with James, though, having to knife that one to the chin. Hey, Jay, are you okay? He's yeah, alright. No bites. Good. Oh, James, not that you spare the walkers. Okay. I know it would have been easier to kill them. Definitely. You're kind. I appreciate it. Really. I think that's just your relationship with James has changed, alright. I hope for the better. I got an achievement. Mercy did not did no harm. Thank you for helping me get this back. Mm hmm Now, how will Walker save your friends? Distraction. You're being held captive on a boat not too far from here. We can't sneak on board without cover, not without the raiders gunning us down. True. You want to use walkers to hide? To sneak on board their ship? That's insane. I know. It's our only chance. 
Is it? I have something I need you to see, so you can understand what you're asking. James. We still need his help, right? Yeah, we do. I don't see any way around it. We don't have any guns to fight them head on. But if we used walkers as a distraction, they're going to get killed by the raiders, so I don't see how he's going to agree to this. It's safe. Just a little further. Because I know he seems, he seems compassionate about the undead. What are we looking at? What the hell is this? It's like a farmhouse or something. Well, are there any collectibles I could look at? I know I've missed quite a few of them already, that's why I'm looking around here. Okay, that fence is blocking me from going any damn further. Dr. AJ? What's this? Look at salt oh jeez. <laughs> I can believe I have some PTSD. Clem, what's this? It's called a salt lake. Don't lick it. Salt lake? <laughs> no, gross. please don't lick it. Whatever you do, don't lick it. It tastes horrible. Wait a minute, how do you know? Did you lick it? Yes. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that was that was the same response she gave to Lee. Back in the farmhouse. Did you lick it? Remember the good times. Those weren't good times necessarily. Cannibal f freaks. Alright, anyway, what's going on, James? My people, my former people, they had a practice. They called it collecting. Excuse me? What the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, I'd shut that door before they start nosing us. They use them as a weapon. I do this to protect them. I know it sounds strange, but that's why I brought you here. Excuse me? To see them as I do. As people. As people? Well, not people exactly. But... <sighs> something in between. Part of us is still in there. I'd like to think that, but... Deep down, so few of us die anymore. We turn. Mm. Not dead, not alive. I wish I could see it that way. It'd be nice to think that everyone isn't actually gone. In a way, they're just lost. Are we gonna have to choose between accepting his help or not? Do you really think there's people inside of monsters? Somewhere. Yes. Think about it this way. Has someone you cared about turned? Oh, plenty. <laughs> plenty. Jane? Clem's friend. Lee. Well, he... She shot him before he did. Right. So he wouldn't have to suffer. He's not gonna like that. Sorry. Maybe this wasn't the best way to explain. He's not gonna help us. Didn't mean to bring up difficult memories. I lived among walkers for years. Still do, in a way. When they're alone, they're harmless, innocent. If you want my help, I need you to try and walk with them. Ooh. Then tell me if you really believe they're just monsters. They are just monsters. AJ, you're they're not, not helping. people or friends. Clem. She'll be safe, I promise. This isn't smart. It's too dangerous. She just needs to move as they do. I'll be fine, AJ. I'm doing this, okay? I... <sighs> okay, fine. 
Let's hope nothing bad happens to Clem. I mean, is this mask really powerful? I can't believe he's still agreeing to help us, knowing he's going to put the walkers in danger. The first rule is never go alone. I'm not leaving you. I'll be right back. Find the exit. Right. I will. Don't let fear take over. All right. I will. I promise. I just hope I don't fuck this up. The mask will disguise your scent, but be gentle and be quiet. Touch the wind chime. You'll see. The wind chime? <sighs> this is kind of trippy. Oh, great. It's like the Fazbear mask from Fight Fights of Freddy's 2. I haven't ever played that, but I've seen plenty of footage. Okay, how do I... Where's the wind chime? How do I touch it? Um... I can move freely, but do I want to move freely? Oh, the wind chime is dead ahead. How am I going to do this? There's too many! <sighs> I'm gonna fuck this up, aren't I? Don't mind me, fellow walkers. Can I touch it, please? Jesus. How do I touch it? Please, nothing bad happen. Stop bite my head. Kind of confused what's happening here with the serene music. Discovery, perhaps? I'm not sure. Oh, they didn't bite me. I want to close that door, though. Oh, hey there, Kiddo. Oh, good, it's closed. It's all right, I'm fine. See? No bites. No bites. So, do you still think they're just monsters? Now that you've seen them at peace... I... I think you might be right about there being something more to them. It was kind of nice in there. Really? I never met someone who understood. Hmm. It's... Thank you. I'm glad. Have you ever killed a walker before? I have. Many. But you don't feel good about it, do you? Have you ever killed a person? Hey, AJ, that's a bit too intrusive. Many. Oh, jeez. But that was a long time ago. I've killed someone before, too. AJ. You have to bring that up. You've killed someone? <laughs> yeah. I'm a murderer. But I'm trying to atone. Well, that's good. I guess. <sighs> that's enough. What about the walkers? Are you going to help us save our friends? I think he will, but he's not going to be happy about it. I thought I could, but I can't. I know, that's why I fought. So many walkers would die. All of the death this would cause. I'm sorry, Clementine, but I can't have more blood on my hands. I get what he's saying. I, I don't. I didn't expect him to help us. Please, or my friends are gonna die. I never had any before I came here. I can't let them. I won't. He's not gonna change his mind, AJ. I'm 
I'm not gonna force you to make this decision, James, if it comes down to it. I may be stubborn, but I'm not heartless. Those raiders are cruel. They force others to be the same. Yep. And if your friends are anything like you, I don't doubt they're worth saving. They're good people, James. It'll take some time to guide them through the forest to the shore. Others will join the herd as they go. Tomorrow night, be ready. I can't undo this. All I can see is hopefully nothing bad will happen. I didn't want to force James to do this stuff. He really didn't when, want to. When you said there might be people inside Walkers, did you mean it? Is he right? Well, we can't know for sure. That's true. Maybe he's right. Death might not be like we thought before the world turned like this. Maybe something is left after we die. That oh, sounds weird. But if you believe it, I do too. You don't have to, AJ. Come on, AJ. Let's get back before it's too dark. Their achievement. Whispers completed Act 1. That was just Act 1 of this episode? Okay. I've never met anyone like James before. Neither have I. I mean, he's tough. Not like you, though. He doesn't kill monsters, but he's not scared of them either. He's cool. Hopefully he won't die. Hey, Clem. Willie told me the plan. How'd things go with that guy? James. Mm -hmm. He agreed to help us. If somebody told me we were gonna sneak onto a boat in a herd of walkers... I'd have called them crazy. What are you doing with those? Oh, well, I wanted to throw one last hoot nanny before the big fight. Swear? Huh? It's not it a swear. Like it's a swear. not a swear. It's like a party. No, it's just another word for party. Right. I know it sounds strange, throwing a party, but people need something to lift their spirits right about now. This could be our last chance. Hmm. I wanted to make some tea for everyone. Could I borrow your little heater thing? Sure. What can I do? We need to pretty up the old music room. Could you make us something colorful to hang up? Okay. I'll be an artist. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna make the deck... Uh, the deck of... Decoration. decoration. <laughs> A decoration for the party. Okay, I'll get the heater. Place your collectibles. For I don't have any collectibles, do I? Okay. How do you play with it? You draw pictures like this. Was that an edge sketch? <laughs> cool. A wine duel because copyright, right? <laughs> I don't know if I got anything else. I don't think I did. Okay, here's the heater. Doink. <laughs> yeah, stick it in your pants. I'm done, Clem. Come see. Okay, be right there. Like that would actually fit. Video game logic to the rescue. Oh. Hey, you're getting better at this. Soon you'll be as good an artist as Ten. I don't know. He's really good. What's up? Something wrong? AJ? You look sad. I was just thinking about stuff while I was drawing. Mm -hmm. Can you elaborate, AJ? 
There are three kind of eyes, Clem. What? Hmm. Oh, yeah? There are live people eyes. We got those. Mm -hmm. Then there's monsters' eyes. They usually look like dirty water. What's the third? Other times, monsters' eyes aren't even wet. And then there are live people eyes right as you kill them. Like you did to Abel. His, his eyes look like you blew a candle out. Oh. He was a bad guy. I know I shouldn't feel like this. I hated him, too. I think there's something wrong with me. No, you're a good person. You know what, AJ? Everything you're feeling is okay. It makes you a good person. Am I good? Yes. I want to be better, Clem. Let people know I'm good just by my face. You're the best, okay? It's not that simple, but just by looking at somebody. I'm getting real smart. Hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? Yes, because I'm always thinking all the time. Okay, what are you thinking about right now? Mm. I'm no psychic. You getting bit, uh, turning into a monster. Oh. Why would you be bringing that up? Yeah. The older I get, the more I see it. I don't know why. What happens then? You have to kill me. Anyone can get bit. Doesn't matter if you're inside, I know, I know, outside, I know. or how careful you are. AJ, we've talked about this a lot. If I get bit, you know what has to happen. I don't want to talk about this anymore. All right, fine. But you brought it up, so we're going to. <laughs> it does something weird to my stomach, like I'm going to get the dookies. <sighs> AJ, I need to know you remember what we talked about. What you're supposed to do if it happens. Listen to me. If I get bit, you'll... Shoot me. Shoot. No. No, I'm not gonna do that. AJ, yeah, I don't have a choice. AJ, you promised. I don't care. I'm not gonna shoot you. Would it help? If you get bit, I'd want you to bite me too. Uh, is that what this game is gonna lean towards? What? You don't mean that. I don't wanna be alone. You won't be alone. Please don't be mad. I can't live with you not with me, Clem. I know we've talked about it so much, but don't make me. Alvin Jr., you know you're not supposed to talk like this. You're too strong and too brave. I don't think I am anymore about this. Yes, you are. You are, okay? Hey, I did it to Lee. You could do it to me if it comes to that. You can't break promises, AJ. I know. You're not letting this go, are you? James said... <sighs> Guess not. That we could be around when we're monsters. Like on the inside. If you got bit, and then bit me, then maybe we'd still be together. It's not that simple. We'd just be a different together. We might even be okay. We don't know that for sure. Let's say James might be right. That monsters have part of the person they were still inside them. The thing is, no one can prove that. And if we can't prove it, we're not going to risk our lives over it. Can I go patrol for a bit? Before the party? Sure, go ahead. Be careful. Oh. He's pissed. What's with AJ? Don't ask. He just needs some space. Can we talk about what happened today? With Minnie? Yeah, sure. What's wrong? The thing is, seeing Minnie, I feel like it should have scared me, but it didn't. The person we ran into in the woods, that wasn't Minnie. Not really. The way she sounded and acted, the way she talked about Sophie and Lily. I know she's changed. <laughs> I'm, I'm confused, I guess. It's not Minnie's fault. The Raiders just got in her head. I never said it was, but it doesn't change anything. Minnie, the real Minnie, she's gone. She's been gone this whole time and I have to stop mourning her. Mm. I won't let her take you or AJ, or anyone else I care about. Lewis knows when to keep his head down. Yeah, shit. 
Oh, I, I, I hope so. You know, when I first got here, I hated him. He was so much. You know, he walks into a room and it's like, look at me, watch me perform. It's so stupid. But then I realized under all that, he, he really cares about people. And he doesn't just feel it, he says it. He'll tell you every goddamn day how much you mean to him. Shit, he'll probably sing about it. I hope we could save him. Especially if there's already a famous song with your name in it. We've got to get him back. We will. Louis Omar Asim. We'll get them all back. I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> Just saying. Um, I made you this. Is that a pin? Oh, it's a button. <laughs> Stars. So you never forget that night. Oh, I'll, I'll... I never will. <laughs> nice. A night I'll never forget. Violet's pen. When you told me you had feelings for me, I was shocked. Then I started thinking. Mm -hmm. There's something I've always wanted to try with someone I cared about, and I never have. What is it? What is it? That's my wine, Clem. Have you ever danced with anyone before? Nope. As far as I know. Do you... wanna? Just us. No one else around. Of course. You're running a bit late here, guys, but again, I can't stop till we get to a save point. Were we waltzing? Yeah, none of that La La Land fancy crap. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, well, she says she has to let go of Minnie. I'm pretty sure she was at the Minnie before, but she's not the same person. She can't be in love with that person anymore. Thanks for the dance. That was a short dance. Yeah, we're getting better at being romantic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just really hope Gabe doesn't find out about this. Hey, Clem! Jesus Christ. I pressed A. <laughs> wow. Where did you find a beach ball? It was in some garbage behind one of the dorms. I had to blow it up and that was pretty gross. But look, it works. <laughs> <laughs> I should get going. Ruby could probably use some help. See if I. It's cool, right? Super cool. <laughs> Back! Let's just toss it. I'm not gonna bounce off his head. <laughs> You're terrible. Hey! <laughs> oh, it still bounces. <laughs> Alright, so this is the last night we're gonna have before the shit goes down, huh? Ah. I love you, Clem. I love you back, kiddo. Okay, we better get ready to go. Sounds like they need us in the music room. Okay. Him talking about Clem getting bit, is that foreshadowing how the game's gonna end? I hope not. I wouldn't mind a multiple ending scenario as opposed to this one path scenario like the whole game series has been, you know? Because if I believe if Telltale would have branched out more like Quantic Dream did with Detroit Become Human with their choices, they wouldn't have fallen into such disarray. I think the games would sell better, maybe, and they could sustain themselves. But anyway, that's the talk for another day, guys. We're out of time, and we gotta stop. So let's stop here. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Take care.